I feel like this is a lesson that we've talked about before when it comes to more Vista thrillers, but maybe be careful of who your realtors are. <laughs> Does this ring a bell if anybody else? I read the synopsis, I'm like, okay, Hostage House sounds very creative as a title. Like, where is this going to go? Like a, a you know, like a, obviously a kidnapping type story. But, hmm, it, it, a bad realtor. The realtor ring a bell? <laughs> A <laughs> Ruthless Realtor. It went by both titles, I think. Again, Ruthless Realtor, I think, fits the bill more. That was a bit of a different story. I mean, maybe not, again, f based on the fact that, you know, we saw the trailer. And again, this is our Vista Entertainment thriller, so you know, it was spoiler ridden. It seemed to not be going that direction. That, that was a bit of a, a, a misdirection when it came to the titling. Spoiler alert. But, I mean, basically, if you watch the trailer for that movie, you're going to get spoilers anyway. But... We've already had this type of discussion, but we're having it again with Hostage House, which sounds, again, as I said, from a title perspective, I love it. I'm very enticed by that as a thriller fan. I just know with Marvista what I'm getting. And I have liked their productions, at least some of the ones that I've seen. I've covered them extensively on this channel, as I'm sure many of you who follow this channel particularly know. I've covered a lot from them. Partly because, again, their movies can be quite fun. They're like TV thrillers, if you're not familiar with them. Uh, or, or they do other films as well in different genres. They've done family releases, rom-coms, Christmas movies, other holiday releases. But I mostly know them, you know, again, from the position that they continue to spoil their movie trailers within about, like, a two-minute time frame. So you'll take, on this case, we have an 85-minute movie. And you'll basically watch the film in about two to three minutes. <laughs> I don't know why they do it. I mean, I have my suspicions maybe because, again, I think these trailers get uploaded after the fact or when they air on different networks. But still, you're like, for someone who might just, you'll be looking, popping into this trailer, you think you would, you know, keep some elements out of your discussion and wait, keep those elements of surprise for the actual production. It's a weird marketing move either way, but it's still kind of fun to talk about because I don't change it. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and take a look, though, at the synopsis. Like I said, if you're familiar with Ruthless Realtor, this will ring a bell. This is what it says on IMDb. When an ambitious realtor and her daughter are held hostage during an open house, they must work together to outsmart their captors. Okay, so, well, actually, I, I misread that, maybe in anticipation, but the, well, no, in that case, you know, it's very similar in that it was the realtor who, you know, was the guilty party. There's a little more going on, if I remember right. Um... Yeah, I think there was, but er, was there? No, there was. Anyway, in this case, it's the realtor who's the victim. Well, yeah, I, again, it's been a while since I've covered that film, but that does ring a bell. Either way, we're talking about realtors, a familiar element in regard to our Vista thrillers. Um, but it, it very much is like a kidnapping story. I wonder who, is it like the couple who, do realtors often bring their family to like open house showings? I'm not sure how that works. Exactly. Like, would you really bring your daughter, like, in a realistic circumstance? Or maybe, you know, they're just going to check out the house before they go, you know, and obviously uh, uh, try to advertise this. But I was thinking maybe the captors are a family who's interested in buying the house and they don't want to pay. And, you know, unfortunately, you're the ransom piece in terms of, you know, don't tell anyone we're moving in. We don't have to pay for the house. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead, though, and take a look at Hostage House. Again, I love that title. We're going to go ahead and watch this first. We'll talk about it more in my condensed review segment. Fun is watching the video together. All right, without further ado, here we go. Let's give this a, let's give this a roll. That's a big piece of land. Today's the first day on the market. Congrats. Hey. <laughs> I was meeting you at home. This place oh, so she's popping into work. Amazing. What is going on out there? I'm starving. Can we go? More buyers? <laughs> Looks like it. It's after five. I'll tell them to come back. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Uh-oh. Hi. I hope we're not too late. We were just driving by and we had to stop. Come on in. <laughs> you shouldn't have let them in. Yeah, see? There we go. Nothing we've loved yet. Lock doors. You're sweating. Daughter's skeptical. There's something going on out there. Officer. Have you noticed anything unusual tonight, ma'am? There was a break-in down the street. The intruders killed the homeowner. We think he wounded one of them. Get home safe. I will. Thank you. You're bleeding. This is... Uh, we need to get oh. You help. We're not calling anyone. Who else is here? It's just me. Yeah, it's not. She's outside. Heavy breathing. Well, this could be an interesting, fun, a fun story. You just need a place to lay low for a while. Cops are still all over the streets. We've seen your faces. We should take one of them. Oh, they did find her. I was like, well, maybe it's gonna be that story where the, the daughter has to keep outmaneuvering the kidnappers. No but unfortunately, they find her too. The plan. Plans change. Dispatch. Help! 
I get ignored by them every day. How could you do this? These people pay you to protect them. I do protect them. I make sure they're not home when we break into the place. Still a bit revealing in regard to this some of the elements here. Seven. All clear on my side. Um, you didn't need to tell me that he was a security employee. Well, that also rings a bell with Passmore Vista Productions. Notably, oh, what was that film called? It's one of theirs. Um, Neighborhood Nightmare? Was that the one? Might have been. Either way, the bad guy in that spoiler alert for that one. But if you watch the trailer, you pretty much already know as well. <laughs> See, this is a common problem of our Vista, and they don't learn. They continue to market out their movies like this. I don't know why they do it, but it, it, it's funny to me. And sometimes you're like, okay, well, I would prefer you don't show me everything. But then I'm like, well, I wouldn't be able to talk about it if they didn't. <laughs> anyway, um, the neighborhood nightmare. In that case, it was a security guard who was the uh, main antagonist of the film. And you found that out at the end of the movie. For some really bad dialogue. <laughs> so, uh, it, it was not the best movie. I mean, well, actually, it, it wasn't perfect either on content level, but it was entertaining for the most part. Um, it was just poorly done in the re end reveal. Um, but that's familiar territory. That security guard works a security position, or at least seems to or, or have that mask on. And he obviously has tools of access in regard to that profession, so maybe he can ward off suspicion. Maybe he just wants a bonus payday. I don't know. But small town robbers waiting in. The, the key moral of a story is leave your doors locked. Right? And don't do after hours house showings. Um, I would just left the door shut and pretend that they weren't there. But, I mean, I think it's, you know, this is familiar in terms of some of the error elements as well in regard to families being locked up together. Or, well, not being locked up, but... Uh, one person tried to outmaneuver, maybe one person discovered the other person's trying to outmaneuver the cameras and where the the, um, bad, uh, the kidnappers or the bad actors happen to be hiding. What was that film uh, that came out? I think it's called Locked In. It's one of those Roku uh, Saban films hybrids. That's uh, It's free on Roku, but I covered it recently. Uh, but that one has similar structure where somebody was, again, uh, trying to outmaneuver um, the the criminals in this case via a, I think they were in a storage facility, if I remember right, a multi uh, a layered one. It, it looked like an interesting thriller, but again, like these are some familiar elements and employ here in, in the scope of a TV film, which I'm sure, again, I've enjoyed the Movista films that I've seen for the most part um, in full. I just don't know why they continue to market their trailers like this, because I'm like, okay, the trailer obviously divulges way too much at the end of the movie. <laughs> You're like, well... Couldn't you have saved that for the actual film run? You'd think. Because otherwise I'm sitting here going like, do I even need to watch it? You know, if I'm a perspective customer, I'm like, well, maybe I still will. It's just like, you know, in the background or something. Which I've done in the past. But I'm like, if I were a perspective person and were looking for a good, you know, thriller to watch, would I want to watch a movie that I feel I've basically already seen the entire plot of? I don't know. It's, it's odd, but it still looks like an enjoyable release. And again, I love the name. What are your guys' thoughts with Hostage House? Let me know down below. Don't forget all the good stuff with Leggy Scrub at the sharing and that bell until we get to watch more from our Vista, because of course we will. I will see you guys at River Point that happens to be for now. Thanks for watching this video. I love you guys. Don't forget to love yourselves, your fellow man. God bless. Peace.